Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another week of Angie's Mannies. Hopefully your last week was a good one. My week was okay. I ended up working on the 4th of July because it fell on my normal work day. So that means it's 12 hour shift instead of a 10, but that was okay. My husband was covering vacation, so he ended up working a really long stretch, but he'll be home in the morning. So I'm super excited about that and way ready for him to be home. Let's talk about nail polish, guys. Sunday I was lazy and I did not change my nail polish from Saturday, so I was still wearing Moonshine Manny's Waiting for Love. This is a great neon pink with a bunch of flakies in it. You'll probably have already seen my review for this one by the time this Angie's Manny's goes up. This builds up great in three. Love the flakies. This is Moonshine Manny's Waiting for Love. So if this isn't your first video, then you probably know that I'm on a low buy and it has been so hard because I want all the neons. Indie makers are just killing it with their new stuff right now. I have three of the Smoothie Bar collection from 9-0 from last year, and I have been seriously wanting to buy the other three and the new Smoothie Bar Light collection, but I've been holding back. To try and help with that urge though, I pulled out 9-0's Matcha and Mint. I feel like this one is a mix between a neon and a minty green, and it's got those great black shards in there. It reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. This one is a two to three coater depending on how you like it. Those flakies are mm, a little bit of a pain to come off. Uh, I use felt to remove my nail polish most of the time, and if you use felt, there's enough scrub that it comes off pretty easy. But I did happen to pull out a cotton ball this day, and that is not as easy. So just be aware, it might take a little bit, but it's not, not anything too bad. So you're going to see three coats of matcha and mint. I'm not sure what it is about red nail polish, but I always love it. So Moonshine Manny is so freaking excited was just calling to me from the shelf. This is a great red holographic with some flakies in there. I think the flakies are actually multi-chrome. They look dark against the red background. Like I said, I just love red all the time, so I'm not sure what it is, but this is a great one, especially in the summer. It catches the light and it's reflective. This is from Moonshine Manny's Saturday Night Laughs collection still available on her website. This is also very opaque. If you apply it more carefully than I did, it's probably a one coater. You're gonna see two coats of Moonshine Manny, so freaking excited. And not that I don't have enough holiday themed nail polish, but apparently I needed one more. So I got Nail Hoots Stars and Stripes Forever. This is a white curly with some blue stars and there's bar glitter and little tiny circle glitters in here. Now, this one did surprise me a little bit. I had no idea that there was a golden shimmer in here until after I bought this. Even after I looked at the bottle, I didn't know until I was putting it on my fingers. I love a shimmer in a white polish because I think it just brightens it up. And especially with this being for the 4th of July with the fireworks, I thought that was perfect. So you're going to see three coats of Nail Hoots Stars and Stripes Forever. This is my first Color Infinity polish. This is a pink holographic with, I feel like, just a touch of peach in there. Again, summer is the perfect time to wear a holographic nail polish. This one was pretty opaque. I did do two coats of this one. The formula was good. I got this from Polish Pickup, but since it is July still, this is on their website. Did I even tell you this is Kirby's Dreamland? I'm sorry. So I really did like this one. You're going to see two coats of Color Infinity's Kirby's Dreamland. And then when Rachel and I were talking the other day, Rachel Corinne from a YouTube channel, I'll try and remember to link her down below. She actually showed me a smush manny of these four textured ruffles, I think they're called. Yep, ruffles, from Nicole by OPI. And I was like, what are those textured pastels? And she couldn't believe that I'd never heard of them before. But you better believe it only took me a few minutes to go find them and buy them. So I found this on eBay. This one is kind of a bluish green texture. It's got some dark. I don't know if I'd really call them 
glitter, but it does have some dark texture that shows up when you put this on your nails. It's been a while since I bought these on eBay, a couple of months at least, but there were several, several listings, so I'm sure they're still available if you're interested. You guys might already know, textured polish is one of my favorites to do when I'm in a hurry because it dries fast and I don't need a base or a top coat. This one was no exception. It was great, easy application. This is Nicole by OPI's On What Grounds, and this is Two Coats. And because I've been loving the neons lately, and my selection of neons is not that big in my collection, I reached for another one from Moonshine Manny's Wake Me Up collection. This is I Could Be The One. This is a great highlighter yellow nail polish, and I actually don't own another highlighter yellow nail polish. Sorry if the color freaking my camera out. This one again, I love the flakies in it. The formula is really good. So in three coats, those flakies layer up so well. This is Moonshine Manny's I Could Be The One. I feel like there's so much new stuff out there right now that I have been just struggling with my no buy slash low buy. And I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one who wants to buy it all. So tell me what you guys have been loving and picking up in the comments down below. Thank you for spending this time with me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!